I'm going to continue on with this question and this is the second part of a series of videos, short videos in which I'm going to do to address some of these exam type questions. So in this one, we're going to look at calculating the profit maximizing level of output for the company. So what is the profit maximizing level of output? What we want to do here is take our profit function that we derived from the previous question which is this here, and identify the value of x that gives you that peak profit. So if you can imagine a quadratic equation, how it's drawn on a graph, it will be either a U shape or an N shape. So there's going to be a, there's going to be a turning point. So that negative x squared is going to give us an N shape. So what we're going to find, if you can visualize it, is the value of x just at that peak point. And because that's a turning point, what we're effectively asking here is for you to get the first differentiation of your profit function. So another way of asking this question is, what is the optimal level of output that maximizes profit? So if you see maximizes profit or this profit maximizing level of output, you need to first differentiate your equation. First differentiation is given as dy dx, but I have in here d pi dx because we know what the value, we know what y is. y is your profit represented by pi. So we can say d pi dx. So if you're familiar with first differentiation, the steps are you need to, for each individual part of this function, you need to bring down a power, multiply what's in front of the x, and then reduce your power by 1. A shortcut is if you see in this case 43x, you just remove the x, you're left with 43. The minus 6x squared, you multiply the power of 2 by the minus 6 to give you the minus 12. And leaving the x there, you reduce your power by 1. So 2 minus 1 is going to give you to the power of 1. And it's also written as minus 12x. Because there's no x associated with the 40, we cannot the first get the first differentiation of that part of the function. Because you cannot... Uh, differentiate profit with respect to x because there's no x there so the minus 40 just disappears with that turning point we need to put this first differentiated function equal to zero and then we solve for x tidying things up putting the 43 over to the other side and then removing your minus 12 from the x will give us 3.58 so minus 43 divided by minus 12 is 3.58 that's the level of output that maximizes profit